Hey everyone, Steve here from Big Head Tech, and as you probably know, Be Quiet's been a sponsor of my channel for some time. They reached out a few weeks ago before the embargo was lifted for this and said, do I want to review this process or uh, CPU cooler? I said, I'd love to, but I just sold my test system. I'm in the process of moving. I had to reorganize some things. They said, oh, well, do you want it for free anyway? I said, well, of course I would. But they put no stipulation on me having to review this, but I, I feel I owe it to them to some degree because they've always helped me out with stuff. They're actually giving me more product for a, pro a project I'm actually beginning as well, which is going to be a part of. But that being said, I mean, Be Quiet's never sent me a bad product. They don't make bad products. They sometimes are a little bit premium. They're quiet and they're not flashy. So when you buy Be, product, Be Quiet product, you know what you're getting in many cases, but they're very competitive in most aspects. The case I'm getting, I'm super excited about. They're going a little bit off of their uh, normal course with minimalistic design, and I'm really excited, especially at the price point. So, but today is all about the Pure Rock tube. So, I'm going to show you guys how to install it, and I'm going to get you some thermal benchmarks. I can't. I have nothing to compare it against because I don't have my original test set up anymore, um, and I don't have a standardized one. But ideally, something like this should probably go on a processor that's like 250 or less, and I have one that's like 150. So. Uh, but first of all, I want to show you how this thing mounts. I have an AM4, I have a B550 motherboard, and over there I have an LGA 1200, 1200, whatever they're calling it. So let's go ahead and open this guy up here. Got some pretty good packing. Ooh, that's a nice, nice shiny aluminum here. Yeah, I'm going to put that down there. The fan is separate. And here we have the mounting mechanism. So I, I believe this is a retail package. I think it was sent to me from Newegg's warehouse here. So here we have four copper heat pipes. The thermal paste is pre-applied, which I'm gonna be using my own anyway, but it is pre-applied. So that is definitely a plus. And here we have the mounting hardware, really nicely packaged. So you, know, you can put another Be Quiet fan on here, which. I don't think I have another 120 Be Quiet fan. I think all mine are 140. Um, to be 100 honest, I may actually put an RGB fan on here because why not? It's RGB, right? So we have AMD and Intel. Ah, okay, so this will go straight across. Got it, got it, got it. Those little washers seem to actually not have any purpose. In fact, I easily broke one without even trying. So I'm going to do it without the washers. Let's see how this installation goes. I'm honestly going to assume that it's going to be fine, but in fact, I think the washers were part of the problem. So they're probably, I'm honestly not sure what they're for, but I don't think they are super necessary. Definitely don't want to over tighten it, but you do need good pressure across the board. Now this already has the thermal paste pre-applied, so I'm just going to leave it on there for that. Put it on just like that, and we'll put a screw in on each side. Go. Put the one side through. I want to bring this up a little bit so it's flush. Let's take a look here. It's an important note. The heat pipes kind of come this way, so you can actually 
if the fan clearance is an issue, now when we go to put the fans on, we're good to go. We actually have plenty of room for ram slots now, so I didn't realize that. So either way, you're good. You probably, yeah, you can still stick a 120 mil fan, at least on this board, because back here, this actually pretty much lines up with here, so you'd be able to fit a, a 120 here, no problem. Okay, so these, you have these little washers, but they're pretty thick. That's what holds these in place, and you want the inner one. We'll lift this bad boy up, place it under. Just like that. And then taking a look at these, these will screw in just like that. Now, assume that I'm putting thermal paste on. I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste it. Even though I have a giant tube, there's just absolutely no reason. Um, it's not less is more anymore. I mean, don't go overboard, but if you put like a, like a pretty large grain of rice, you'll be fine. You can lose maybe a degree or two if you put a little too much, but if you put a little too little, you can give up a lot more than that. Okay, then I believe how these will go on is quite simple. So, probably like that. I haven't tested that theory yet, but just like that. And then we will match this thermal paste there. That we probably should, yeah. two screws Oop, still got work. so get that lined up with that one started and we'll kind of get the other one start on the other side here And all you have to do, I don't want to do it because pulling these things on and off with nails is very difficult. But you will clip your fan on just like you did for the other one. So you'll see even here, you'll have ram clearance without too much difficulty. And that's it. Sorry about uh, not having an official outro here, but this video was shot some time ago with the potential move which ended up not happening i'm just now getting back to it but if you like the video hit the like button dislike hit dislike button leave a comment get subscribed if you want to buy this feel free to use the amazon link do note that it is an affiliate link so i do get a small kickback and from a performance standpoint keep my 3600 perfectly cool under synthetic and realistic load so i definitely recommend it for that and i'll see you later on down the road